Hello everyone, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to um, create a database in uh, MongoDB and uh, connect uh, your flow in Node-RED environment to your uh, MongoDB running in the cloud. Uh, so first of all you need to create an account in MongoDB and you should go to account.mongodb.com slash account slash login and when you come here if you haven't created an account you can sign up. I have created an account before, so I'm going to just log in. Um, put my password there. So the first time that you log in, um, basically it asks you to create a, a new cluster. So uh, you can basically um, go ahead and create uh, a new project. You can put a name on that. I'm going to put the name uh, Node-RED and my project. So, and then uh, basically you can add members if you want to. I'm not going to add anyone else. And then you create a project. So um, I guess when you create a new account, uh, it's going to help you by asking some questions to create the project and create the, uh, the cluster and database. So uh, when you want to create a database, it gives you a couple of options. Uh, the free option is the shared one. I'm going to select that one. And uh, by default, it's asking uh, you know, for, uh, to create the cluster in AWS Amazon. You can select Google Cloud or Microsoft Azure if you want to. I'm going to just go uh, with the default uh, option. And also, the server is going to be US West. Uh, and let's create the cluster. So it asks for adding username. So this is the username that you should use for connecting to your database. So I'm going to create a user one and put a password here. So create the user. And also MongoDB asks for, uh, you know, whitelisting. So the IPs. So you need to provide the IP address that you want to connect from uh, that IP address to uh, MongoDB. So I'm going to connect from my, uh, you know, uh, computer, personal computer at home. So I need my IP address. And if you go and search for your uh, IP address in Google, uh, you can find your IP address here. I'm going to copy this and paste it in IP address and uh, description my home and add entry. So and finish and close. So it takes uh, a while until your cluster is created. And after uh, your cluster is created, we uh, create the database and um, the collection. And then we uh, connect our Node-RED uh, to, to the database. So until the um, you know, um, database is created, we can go to Node-RED environment and create basically our um, Node-RED network. So before you know anything, we need to add uh, MongoDB nodes to our Node-RED environment. And in order to do that, we go to this Manage Palette and uh, go to the Install uh, tab and uh, search for MongoDB. When you search for MongoDB, it's a long list that you see. Uh, you should select this one, Node-RED uh, Contrib MongoDB Aleph. So that's the one that you need to install. I have already installed it. Uh, the others, actually, I tried it. It, it doesn't work because uh, you can use other uh, nodes if you are running a local database. But there are some complexities in the URL that uh, you know this one handles well and works. So you need to install this one. And after you install this one, uh, it adds two nodes for you, MongoDB in and MongoDB out. Um, I'm going to bring the MongoDB out, and I'm going to add an inject and also a function to trigger and uh, basically create a payload in my function. So. Uh, I'm going to create a payload object. I can create a JSON uh, object or just 
you know send a message like send hi from node red okay so this is going to be my network but there are some details that i need to provide uh, to to mongodb let's go back to the yep so our uh, to mongodb so our uh, cluster is created and uh, here in order to create our database uh, we can go to uh, browse collections and uh, add my own data so here I need to add the name of the database. I'm going to add my DB and the collection. Uh, I'm going to add my collection here and create it. So this is going to be my database and the collection. Uh, good. And uh, let's go back to um, our you know cluster view. And here, if I click on the connect, uh, there are a couple of options. I'm going to just go with the first one. Um, and this is basically the command that you can use for connecting to your MongoDB using your uh, Mongo shell, but I'm not uh, going to do that. And what I need here is to select the URL. So the host URL basically is this part of the, um, you know, the string. So I select from cluster uh, to uh, .NET and then I go to this um, and double click on MongoDB node and here I need to basically so this is my previous cluster so I'm uh, adding the uh, URL to the host and here I should select the last one DNS cluster MongoDB plus serve and um, I know I don't need to provide any option and the database name is my DB and username is user one and the password that you provided before and you can also add um, basically your you know the name for this uh, database connection so I have everything here I need to add the collection name as well in my case uh, my collection was the name and uh, I think we should be good let's deploy our network and yep so our node is connected um, good so if I trigger this, um, you know, network, I expect to receive, uh, you know, uh, I expect to see uh, the payload, which is high from Node-RED in the database. Okay, let's do that. And um, let's go to our database uh, to browse collections. And here, if I click on my collection, here we go. So this is basically the payload that I see here, high from Node-RED. There's no topic here. You know, if we add the topic, of course, we'll see the topic as well. Uh, so message topic, put test. So I added the topic and the payload is high from Node-RED. I deploy it again. It's connected. Uh, I trigger this and if a refresh okay so we see uh, the second uh, you know collection uh, the second document as well which is high from node red with the topic test okay so this is the way that we um, send data to uh, mongodb we can also read from mongodb i add another uh, you know, uh, node here. I'm using MongoDB again, and I'm gonna just, uh, you know, use find operation here, and I'm gonna put the name of the collection again, which is my collection. And just to see the output, I can put a debug node here, and Okay, when we run it, I need to have, um, basically I need to get uh, the find from, from this one. So in order to do that, I can put an inject to trigger this. Yep, so I uh, triggered the network. So I see basically two objects, an array of two objects, which are my uh, you know uh, documents in the my collection 
so you see that uh, you can also change it to count so it basically um, just gives you the number of objects so if I run it uh, I get two which is basically two documents that are stored here okay I hope that this helps you and you find it useful